Getting ready for kickoff here. Mr. Hitstick, Master Gamer. Gamer! Even in the Los Angeles Chargers. Mr. Hitstick, a familiar face in Atlanta. And they're playing in New Orleans. I'm very confused as to what's going on. They just want to, want to play in a dome stadium? Yes. Maybe, so. maybe that's, that's how Matt gets down. Here's the other interesting thing, and we're going to find out about a lot of these players in the round of 16. Because we're putting so many of these games on the main stage, a lot of these guys, I mean, a grand majority of these guys have been able to enjoy the comforts of playing back in the pods without being on the stage, without the, the screen above them. Mm -hmm. But now you're in the round of 16. It is now the bright lights are on and everyone is watching you. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, single elimination in the round of 16. So not everybody watching, but also, you know, your tournament life on the line. No room for error here. See, these guys are going to just take a delay a game, decline those penalties so they can set their audibles, do their formation subs. And, and RG, we, we do this at least once a day, but for the people at home, maybe your first time watching competitive Madden, what, what are these audibles and formation subs? Uh, what do they do for the players? So it's two separate things. The audibles is just going through each formation and saying, which plays within this formation, I can pick four plays within that formation that I take with me to the line of scrimmage that I could switch to at any time in the line of scrimmage. So when you set your audibles, you're pretty much setting up what four plays within each formation do you want to take with you to that line of scrimmage. When you're doing your formation subs, you're simply just moving your players around to different spots on the field where you want them. So you may do a formation sub where Julio Jones is your default outside receiver, um, but in this specific formation, you may just want to move them into the slot receiver position. So that's what they're doing when they're doing those formations. Subs. Almost like chess pieces. you got to put them where you want them. The second and eight now for Mr. Hitstick. And when you're playing a guy like Master Gamer, you know how prolific he was offensively. If you watched any of yesterday, he put up 70-plus points. Are you at all concerned if you're Mr. Hitstick, considering you only won your last game six to nothing? No, not really. That's a tough. T. Moore is a tough competitor. That, that's a tough game. I mean, T. Moore was a guy that was a part of our um, game day program in Mutt. You could, he was actually a coach within Madden 19. You could see him on the sideline. So that was just a big win for Mr. Hitstick. But uh, you definitely got to be watching out for Matt. Like we saw earlier in this tournament, Matt had an insane hit stick. He was landing a lot of big hits. He looked really good on defense. He was moving the ball very prolifically on offense. He's running a little bit of a unique scheme with that double A gap. Oh, and the pressure up the middle. Melvin Ingram, we saw plenty of defensive pressure from this Chargers defense. A team we don't see too much of here in Reg's format, but Melvin Ingram, Joey Bosa, Derwin James. This defense is a force to be reckoned with. Reminder for the people watching at home, they are on regs format. So these are your normal teams. If you were to pick it up and play a quick game, you're, you're getting these teams. It is not like the Mutt salary cap or the Mutt draft you've seen over the last couple of months. That's why you're seeing a lot of Atlanta Falcons, a lot of Kansas City Chiefs. If you had to pick one of these teams, Nick, which, which, one, which one are you suiting up with? I love the Falcons, and I'm, I'm biased because I'm the Falcons in my franchise, but I, oh, I think that's... Julio Jones is so good. Uh, I love that defensive line. I think Tack McKinley might be one of those underrated players in the game. And Deion Jones at middle linebackers is, is glitching. And you can't forget the two-headed running back monster. Yeah. And that, what's the, say his name? A, a, a Loken? Foya State Oluku. A Loku. That He's guy is a monster 89 at the speed, 90 position. excel at outside linebacker. It doesn't get tougher than that. Master Gamer able to get the stop on the first drive. Can he put points on the board? Phillip Rivers in his wonky sidearm throwing motion. He'll look underneath. Over Melvin Gordon he gets blown up by the aforementioned Deion Jones. Ran Delta! Is there a, a function in the game to let the power go out at the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> There, what's the cheat code for that? Up, uh, that would be down. me tripping over the wire Got and pulling it. everything else up. Stepping on the surge protector again. Third and six. Rivers dropping back. Coverage downfield is good. He goes for the high pass. I think he had a, a looked like an in route or maybe a crossing route about the 45-yard line. Missed it. Now a fourth down decision. Interesting decision right here for Matt, and he's going to get the boot out. A little defensive battle going on early on in this game. Bad punt. Do you ever think punts lead to other punts? Punts on, punts on, punts? Absolutely. Just because when you see your opponent punt and you realize, okay, I see that how they're trying to play this, whether it's a field position game or anything like that, 
looks and you think that, okay, if they punt it here, there's a good chance I might get the ball back again. Let me go ahead and not force it. I think from a mentality standpoint, I don't think you're wrong. I think when, you, when you're looking at the opposing player and they're going for it a fourth down, it immediately puts you in an aggressive mindset. When you see them punting the ball, you get a little more conservative. But I also think, I think the top players, it doesn't affect them because if you're a top player, man, Ooh. Ooh. Oh. stop and go. If you're a top player, man, you have to play your game. You can't let the other person dictate what you're going to do on fourth down. The, the chat's just saying, what is going on? Matt punting on fourth and six? Neither. He's shocked by it himself. Rico got his green apple monster. This is some tasty stuff. Shout out to Evil O. He was the first person to put me on EMP Zone. Thank you. I'm a fan. Shout out to Rico who put me on the Snapple Apple. It's changed my life. <laughs> the best stuff on earth. It's changed my life. Are you guys talking drinks and you haven't mentioned the Rico Williams? Ah, uh, pineapple juice and lemonade. A lemonade with it's a lemonade with a pine splash of pineapple, not pineapple with a splash, splash of lemonade. Pineapple. It's lemonade with a splash of pineapple to taste. Because everybody has a different palate. But yes, that is the Rico Williams, please. It's, it's, sure. it's as refreshing as it gets. It is. It's a great way to start the morning. Second down at eight. Matty Ice looking underneath. It's Calvin Ridley. Oh, Youngster there back goes. Head. Boy, and we saw that from Master yep. yesterday. The lumber's going to be out for this defense. Yeah, Matt's head stick has looked phenomenal all tournament long. Good example of it right there. This game slowly but surely moving. Nobody just looking like they're ready to take complete control so far. A third and two. Why not give it to Devontae Freeman? Looking like a Fred Astaire out there, dancing around the line, picking up a first down. Yeah, that's a good play right there. I, I like the way that Mr. Hitstick did that out the tight slots. You motion the receiver. Usually when you see that motion, you're going to think it's a toss to the side of the motion. But instead, he mixes in the dive just to show that that's a look that he could give to Master, try to kind of keep him off balance with those run plays out of that formation. A really good tactic right there by Mr. Hitstick, setting up Master Gamer for a potential pitch later on. And now Hitstick empties out the backfield, looking left side, corner route, that's Tevin Coleman with the catch at the 35-yard line. Another first down for Mr. Hitstick. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us in the Twitch chat. Appreciate everybody here at DreamHack. The hospitality has been like nothing else. First ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack here from Dallas, Texas. So happy to have you along with us, Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams at the desk. Toss play on first and 10. Good this cut. Network. Freeman's in open space. 10 5, 1 to beat. Fights through the tackle. He'll get down to the one yard line. Told you, Mr. Headstick, man. He's tough. He's got good stick work. That was phenomenal run stick right there. Got the stiff arm in at the end. I know you get mad when I make terrible puns, but. It's going to be a hit stick pun. Yeah. Is Master Gamer now Miss the Hit Stick? <laughs> Um, and, and, and just so you know, this isn't what it's like just on air. With Re this is all day. Where we got he fumbled it. It's picked up in the end zone. Wow. Breaking news. Is that Edo Smith with the pickup? Breaking news when it feels like breaking. We just got another update from, from our man, a.k.a. Man, a.k.a. Scoop Jackson. A man on the ground. Wayne Walton, a.k.a. The Butcher, and V.Y. Electrify are tied at 10. Wow. It's about to be halftime. And Blocky has been beaten. Yes, Kratobin just took out Blocky. I'm telling you, what? he's playing as good of Madden football as anybody at the end of the year. He is a force to be reckoned with. It's funny, though, how when you say Blocky's been beaten, and my eyes, they get big, like, no way, way. And then you say Kratobin, and I'm like, Makes sense. that's possible. Like, you're not saying Kratobin's blatantly the better player than Blocky or vice versa, but they're both on that level where you know either one of them they, they, they could go back and forth all day long i'm sure i, I mean kratobin at this moment is a top 10 man player that's how good he's playing right now well wayne walton though in a hell game and by the way he, i think he was playing with the ravens too and he's, he's playing with the ravens and he's in sunglasses and it's pitch black out there oh my gosh you gotta love it second out and eight now for a master gamer looking to respond to that Little wonky touchdown on the quarterback sneak. Fumble picked up by Edo nice Smith. Pass. And look at that Ooh. little touch pass to the outside. I That's cannot pretty. wait, RG, by the way, for the touch pass to be a little different in Madden 20. We saw it on the, on the blogs. I think it's going to bring touch pass back into Madden. 
Oh, man, if, uh, I don't think you need to change anything if you could throw touch passes like that, though. That was pretty right there, Nick. He just stayed back. Instead of throwing a bullet, saw the user defender was trailing underneath, flops it over his head, makes the catch. That was textbook right there. But, yes, you're right. In Madden 20, the functionality of the touch pass has changed a little bit. Shakobi is down 10 to 7 versus Manu. Two minute warning in the first half. And speaking of pretty, 14 0 in Pretty Boys game. He's on the losing side. Who's he playing? Waiting for an update as to who he's taking on right now. Shout out to VTAC with all those updates. Look at Another that. nice Look at these touch, pass. touch passes. That. Minor guys, as you see it in the chat there, dh.je slash Madden Dallas. You can keep up on the uh, brackets. Say so thank you for the updates, Rico. They're very appreciated. Please keep yeah, it up. DK's filling the updates, Rico, as are we, so. Oh, serious Mo throwing the shape, chat. Shout out to my guy, Mo. Need him get him back out there on the Monopoly with me. Mo had locked in on some Monopoly online. He got, he got involved in the games with me, Chow. I, I, I expect Mo to be pretty cutthroat in Monopoly. He's a good player. Mo, Mo's a good player. The first time we played, uh, we, it, it was me and him, the last two left, and I, I kind of weaseled my way to the W. They don't want it, fellas. They it was questionable, though. We were playing with speed die. <laughs> now third and five. Master Damon with some significant little touch passes. He's gotten down to the 41-yard line, but his sticks defense has been containing anything else. He needs to pick up five on the play. Driving back is Phillip Rivers. Good playmaker. He's a good playmaker. I don't like the route design, though, RG. You saw two hitch routes. Basically a hitch and a curl on the same side. Problem with those is if it's not open initially, you really have to playmaker to get anything out of those routes. That's exactly what he did, though. It, it seems like Matt was ready for that. It, either it's initially open. If not, I'm going to playmaker. If the pressure gets there, I, you know, hopefully it'll be open. I can throw it right away. Worst case scenario, throw the ball away. Oh. Pressure off the edge. Hit as he threw. Lucky. He was going to try another touch pass to that route coming across the middle. Mr. Hitstick was lurking underneath it. It would have been interesting to see if the pass would have got there. But we'll never know. Now second down and 10. What a handoff to Melvin Gordon. Would collapse on the interior of that defense. You're seeing, if you look at the wide receivers, you've got Austin Eckler out there, a wide receiver. No Keenan Allen on the field. Yeah, the, the reason why a guy like Matt wouldn't have a Keenan Allen on the field is, is that spin move. I'm sure Keenan Allen doesn't have that tier one type spin move that can make defenders quick. So he's going to want to have receivers, as many receivers or players on the field that he can dump the ball too quickly and spin up field with, which is why Keenan Allen is not a staple on, on his field right now. I assume maybe you'll sub him in on the goal line if you're in a possession catch type situation or if you need a reliable receiver. But his base offense really revolves oh, well, around keeping the athletic guys out here. Well, blocking outside for Melvin Gordon. The quick throw out of the backfield. This is the tournament of the running back on those little flares, the little outside passes. It's really working against some of these defenses that are playing soft against the running back. Yeah, this is where Matt looks good. You can tell all the lab work is paying off for him right now as he's just prolifically been moving the ball with this Chargers offense each time we watch him. Out here on the screen, nothing's open uh -oh, all that time. Uh -oh. Nothing open that time. Bruce Irvin, this Falcons defense is tough. Check, check, Irvin, White. White. Jones, White. McKinley, Beasley, Olaku, Trufant, nail the names. Campbell. Devondre Campbell. McK White. Was it McKinney, the other guy? Yeah, Rocky. Jack the McKinley. We got yeah, great. Isaiah Oliver. Jarrett's just not even a thought out there. Oh, square's wide open. He's got him. There's that spin oh, move. That's what we're talking about right Travis there. Travis Benjamin so spinning and winning. So that spin that he was able to pull off with Benjamin right there, had he had Keenan Allen making that catch, it would have been a much slower version of that spin. He probably wouldn't have been able to make that defender miss. Again, which is why he takes him out of the formation. There he is. He, now he's going to come out in a formation with Keenan Allen because there's just not um, really no need to spin. Or maybe he's going to keep Mike Williams in. 22 personnel. First and goal for... Yeah, he's got Williams out there. Master Gamer. Williams put wide right, the lone wide receiver. Two wide receiver, or two tight ends. 
And Hunter Henry motions to the left side. It's going to be Melvin Gordon, but the gap shot nicely by Des Trufant. It's going to be no gain on the play, setting up a second and goal. It's a close ball game right here. It's been a long drive for Matt. You, you hate to put together these long, prolific drives and then have to settle for three. Rivers says Keenan Allen. Nope. He's been throwing that oh, out all tournament long. What a catch. That corner route. He's loving it. High pass it to Williams, and it's a touchdown for Master Gamer. An extra point away from tying it up under the two-minute warning in the first half. It is up. It is good. Round of 16 giving us a good game. I need to steal that play 100%. I struggle in the red zone so much, and I've seen Matt convert that corner out to Mike Williams about three or four times now in about a game and a half. So that, that's, that's obviously a very, very effective red zone play. And not only is it a very effective red zone play, he's able to do it out of formation, a formation where you really need to respect the run as well because he's in that single back. So you got to look up for the toss, the stretch, the dive. But then they'll just sneak in that corner out to Mike Williams. That's a very nice red zone offense for Master Gamer. Tony, for a lot of people, red zone is going to open up and be totally different with the RPOs in Madden 20. That's going to change the red zone game. I can't wait to see how so that works excited. and how effective it is and how much it allows you to open up your playbook. Opens up the playbook, and I think it's going to put a lot of pressure on good user defense because you're going to either have to stay home or crash hard, and you're going to have to make the other person think when they're making that split-second decision. Rico, I'm looking in the chat. And I see an Ollie Quick in the chat. Could that possibly be my guy K-Star? Okay. I haven't seen I, my guy K-Star in forever, dude. Ali Quick, is that you? Everybody is coming back out. The old school is coming back yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My guy K-Star in the house, man. All the old school coming out for this one for the DreamHack event, whether it's on stream or here in person. I love it. Third down and three. Hit stick with Matty Ice. Steps up. Breaks a tackle. Breaking tackles. It's going to set up a fourth and one decision time for hit stick. We got Shopmaster in the chat as well. Speaking up, about, Shop? oh, geez, yes. the Madden Nation Season 1 alumni himself represented Sean Alexander when he was on the Madden bus. I'm getting out, I'm getting out to D.C. We're going to hang out with Shop and Mills. We're going to go to a baseball game this summer. Oh, that's awesome. That's good company right there. Good. Those are good, good dudes. Solid, solid people. So you're just making the whole rounds, huh? Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> He's my wife every... is never going to see me, but her boyfriend's got to love it, so it's going to be fun. 7-7 <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven the score. Under 40 seconds to play. All three timeouts remaining for a hit stick. Master Gamer with the ball. He's got two remaining. Nick is low-key savage, man. Low-key? I'm high-key savage. And there's no way, like, the community, like, they probably have an idea of him being a savage, but they don't know that he, he, he's a true savage. Ooh, nice stick work. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh. Hey. How much time left here if you're mad? Oh, 27 seconds. Would you have liked to see him there instead of trying to spin back to the inside, maybe getting out of bounds? Just get out of bounds, yeah. He got a little too... The spin looked cool, but uh, his efficiency wasn't there. Second down and four. Master game of tie ball game heading towards halftime. Rivers looking deep down the right side. That's Williams. Can't make the play. I thought he had that one over. I don't know who's out there playing defense on it, but it was a close play. Williams, a tall, lanky wide receiver that you can get those one-on-one -on -one ag catches with. And we've seen Williams ag catch a couple of times now, especially in that red zone. Now a third down and four. Ash Gamer's got to be thinking. Don't get it here. What do you do? So there'll be time on the clock, and Hit Stick has all three timeouts. He's looking one more time. Oh, he what? got clobbered. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Replacement refs are out here, guys. That looked awkward. I'm about to punt this rock. Hunt is away. 13 seconds, so he's going to have. 12 seconds on the clock. All three timeouts, so you can still use the middle of the field. You got to get some chunk yarders to get into field goal range. Are you looking to get three here? Or do you just take this into the half with your stop and your moral victory? I try to get three. 
definitely be a care. I'm running the ball. I'm running the ball. Hopefully, I break something. Maybe the toss here. I got Julio. I'm trying to get three. There's that toss. Now we're going to go to second half. Run it down. Ten minutes of game time remaining for a spot in the Elite Eight. It's a seven. Seven ball game. All right, and here with our Chipotle halftime score update, Wayne Walton is down 20 to 13 right now to VY Electrify at the end of the third quarter. Ooh. Pretty Boy is down 20 to 9 with three minutes left. We're looking to get an update on that Shikobi Manu game as well. Lots of games going on here. Spots in the Elite Eight on the line. Top four make money. You got it. I was going to ask Rico, you got to assume Clef is still in the tournament as well, right? Yeah, he was just playing. We'll see if we can get an update on that game as well. Yeah, a lot of guys in chat asking about Clef. And so Master Gamer starting off with the ball first. Second down and seven. Some questions in the chat. They're asking what book is Master Gamer in? I believe it's the... Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. McKinley status is up 24 to 21 on JS is the best. There's two minutes left in that game. It's a good game we got a, right we got there. a prediction in the chat. Warfield in the chat saying Shakobi joke in the finals. That would be Bronco is up 17 14 on Beast Mode. Beast Mode had to go buy some clothes. He's got to get that new clothes, Juju. That was after he had to buy his day two pass. Yeah, that's after the day two pass. The he did not have the three day pass. We broke that yesterday. Third and five. Rivers dropping back, looking right side. That is Williams wide open. Good safe throw. It's about as easy of a read as you get here in the DreamHack Madden tournament. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us day two. Don't worry, we got so much more Madden action. We're going to be with you until about 7 o'clock tonight. 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. With action nonstop. And then we got round of eight tomorrow. We're handing out a $25,000 oh, prize pool. Dangerous throw. Mr. Hitstick baited him perfectly right there. It looked open. It really wasn't. Hitstick was in the vicinity. Tried to make the user pick. Unfortunately, not able to come down with it, but that was good bait right there from Hitstick. Fancy is up 17-10 on Six Cents with two minutes left. Six Cents, who we saw in the Madden Bowl, one hit and beat Safa Jones in the LCQ, got in the Madden Bowl, made a little bit of noise, got to the wild card game. Oh, no! Wow, it's worked! Deion Jones with a lot of room! Yes. He's to the 30, to the 20, wave to Phillip Rivers because he's getting into the end zone! Hit and that was the best spin you've seen. As soon as he got that, he's went right back, was heading there. Great play. Sometimes that pass, getting a little too cute. Oh, that's just a bad read. You, you get you followed with one bad read where you get baited and then go right back to just throwing right at Mr. Hit, hit, hit stick. We call that uh, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, a bird box. It's a bad read right there by Matt. It's like Wuthering Heights, just a bad read. Shout out to my eight, my 19th century novels. Everyone in the chat's like, I'm sorry, what? one more time. Fourteen seven now, hit stick with a big defensive play. Oh, Master Gamer going to the ground with Melvin Gordon, good tackle on the outside, only gonna pick up four. They're, they're, they're spamming their Stevies in the chat. It's great that they got Stevie Wonder emojis. Good old Madden community. <laughs> you never underestimate them. <laughs> Second down at six. Rivers in the shotgun. Move Williams from left to right. Rivers dropping back to pass. I wonder if anybody's got some Sandra emojis. Got him. It's green with the catch. Ladarius Green to the 41 yard line. There's got to be some Sandra hey, emojis hey, out there somewhere. Hey, still, they're still spamming the Stevies. You know who, who, who does have an emoji? Pugs. Pugs has got an emoji. The smoothie? Well, well, well. <laughs> the green smoothie. It's, no, it's a, it's a good emoji. And it, it's not. It's just a. It's just a leaf of kale. Supposedly those Akai bowls here. Speaking of smoothies, yeah. those frozen Akai bowls here at DreamHack are supposedly uh -oh. real deal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Raro -ra Raggy. That's Vic Beasley. Screamer! 
225 to go. Scale of 1 to 10, Rico. How much pressure is on Master Gamer right now looking up at that scoreboard facing a second along? 12. Zero. Especially being down 7 right now with it being in the second half. Every mistake is magnified. you got to make sure you make the most of every possession you have. and You can't afford to come out with no points here because if you go down two scores, it could be the end of the game. Yeah, this is where Matt, what I'm noticing with this, where Mr. Hitchstick's adjusting to Matt, is he has nothing deep down the field. As long as he checks this ball underneath, He's going to be okay. But anytime Matt starts looking deep down the field right now, it just seems like Mitchner Hitstick is all over him. Melvin Gordon seems to be the one that he's moved, moved the ball most efficiently with. Third and long. There he is again. Back to, to Melvin. That little yeah. swing pa pass. Trying to get Gordon around the edge. Good tackle made by Deion Jones. Fourth and ten, you got to think. Master Gamer's looking to go for it. Okay, Shout out to all our friends here at DreamHack for putting on this tournament. The first ever tournament hosted by DreamHack. I'm sure it won't be the last because it's been a rousing success. A full 96-person field with a wait list. And we're in, it's June now. It's been a long time since we've seen some football on the old television set. Fourth and ten. Oh, That's pressure. Gamer pressure. Just gets it off to Eckler. What a defensive play call right there from Mr.